Do you know this fun fact about solar panels? At first, they were a technology that NASA developed to power their satellites. Now you can see hundreds if not thousands of solar panels placed in the hottest places on our planet to gather the sun's energy. Same with wind turbines. Those mighty structures that reach the skies are capturing wind with their massive blades and converting it into energy. It seems like we finally found the ultimate renewable energy generators and we don't need anything new. Just stick to the existing technology and that's it. Well, there seems to be another powerful energy source that will blow what we already have out of the water. Waves, nature's powerhouse, unlock a new era of energy harvesting. However, harvesting the wave energy is a complex matter. You see, waves are not moving in one direction. Waves form when the wind blows over the ocean and it blows constantly. Wave formation is created by the transfer of energy through the pressure imbalance created by the wind. If you observe the phenomenon, it will seem like the wind pushes against the water surface, causing it to rise and fall, creating the wave shape. And there is one thing to say about waves. Each particle of the water doesn't move from ocean to coast. And as the wind energizes them, they remain in the same location and move in circles. The energy then goes to the next particles and the cycle continues. Waves aren't the same. They vary in size. There are numerous reasons for this, including the fact that the ideal location to harness wind energy is where it blows the strongest. And we tried to harvest this energy as far back as 1975, when a certain professor invented a duck. Yes, this duck, a joking nickname given to this contraption that bobs up and down with waves to generate electricity. This was a huge discovery because it meant one thing. Waves are great sources of energy. They are consistently hitting our world's longest shores. Fast forward to our time and we've got dozens of designs to harness that power. For example, this technology, a point absorber, floats at the surface and gathers wave energy through heavy motion in one direction, while staying tied to the sea floor. The wave's motion powers the piston inside the energy conversion system and generates electricity. Some newer designs have multi-directional capabilities to maximize energy capture. Or this, a surface attenuator. Placed on incoming waves, multiple floating segments connected together power an energy conversion system thanks to the relative motion. And there are many more designs like this. But again, if you try to look for an unconventional design to generate energy waves, you won't find a definite result. There are quite literally dozens of technology contraptions made with individual designs with the same purpose. It almost makes your head spin. And this is where the truth lies about wave energy. There is no definite or ultimate design to harness this energy. Other than that, the ocean is already an extremely hostile and complex environment. Its corrosiveness rejects man-made objects, slowly but surely destroying them. There are materials durable enough to withstand the ocean's hostility, like steel, sure, but they remain expensive for an average renewable energy startup. And worst of all, you can't just put things on water and expect them to work flawlessly. Like all mechanisms, they require maintenance, which means using boats, platforms and divers to do this job. This definitely requires a lot of investment. However, despite what we listed, it's not a bad thing. It's actually good that we have these problems because interested people are pursuing success in this niche to find the ultimate solutions to problems and make these mechanisms work for a brighter future. If it weren't for humans' minds to pursue innovation, we wouldn't be driving cars but horse carriages. In any case, we're hoping to see wave energy become the third pillar of renewable energies, standing among wind and solar.